Hey, you! Yeah, you! Are you a noob? A noob for K-pop? Well then, this video is for you. Wow, well, this ain't One Piece, but I ain't going to leave you in One Piece after your mind has been blown away by this amazing world of K-pop for noobs. Yes. This will help you get into K-pop. I got them bobs lined up for you, bro. I have made a 69 song playlist for you over on Spotify. There's a link to it down below. And I also made a music video playlist on YouTube as well. Well, I guess that's all I need to say for the video. You, you got the music link, so bye. What's happening? It's, it's, it's so beautiful. Holy shit. God damn, bro. I feel like this is the perfect place to start. Do you want timeless, limitless art? Something mind-blowing? Something that will shatter your thoughts on K-pop and bring you into a whole new musical world? Then DPR is for you. DPR Ian, DPR Live, and DPR Cream. DPR is one of the perfect starts to K-pop. Not because of the music, but because of their music videos. Their music videos are the Mona Lisa of K-pop. The editing, the coloring, the cinematography, the directing, just everything about their music videos scream art. I'm bad. I wonder, what are they so afraid of? I legitimately think that their music videos are a good enough reason as to why you should listen to their songs. And this is only their music videos. Their music is just as good, or even better. I'm always in awe for how immaculate these artists are. Also, there's quite a lot of English in their songs, so it could be a perfect start for you to just warm up to what K-pop is kind of like. And yeah, this is the main reason as to why I made the video playlist for you. You should definitely watch this playlist during your free time. Not for the music, but for how amazing K-pop music videos can be. Now, I don't know who to talk about next because I just talked about one of my f Oh god! Oh no, please! Please don't get me addicted again. I've spent too much money on the skins. Please! Oh. It's just music. Oh yeah, baby. This is another great intro to K-pop. It's just hype as fuck. There are some wee parts of K-pop scattered throughout these League of Legends music videos. And that's just fantastic. So many people have gotten into K-pop because of these League of Legends music videos. Especially the ones from KDA and True Damage. It gave people a good glimpse as to how cool the rapping and the singing of K-pop can really be. Plus these songs are hype as fuck. Mm. I keep on shattering time. I might just leave you behind. Homie, you stuck on the wine. There's a reason why they have this many views. <laughs> oh yeah, and the mixture of languages is another reason as to why I like their music. I don't know how they managed to make it flow so effortlessly, but they did, and it's so great. These songs are fantastic hype songs. They will give you the energy you need when you are fading down. No doubt about it. I'm just glad I'm not back in the- Fuck! Would anyone be down if I streamed some Apex Legends and some other games? My intense moments would be with these glasses on and I'll be gaming and I'll be like, oh yeah! But generally, I'll stream and we'll just have a great time. Does that sound good? <laughs> Shit, I've recorded for 10 minutes! And I got so much- oh my god! Well then, <laughs> I guess it's time to warm you up a bit more. After this segment, you'll be getting moved from a noob to a rookie. Are you ready? Okay. Day 6. If you like bands, you will like Day 6. From their catchy, hard-hitting, beautifully lyrical songs, you will find yourself going through an endless loop of all of their music. Their music videos are just as fascinating to watch. We either have anime openings or beautiful stories for the music videos. It's just a great time when you listen to Day 6. Now, hear me out. 
dream catcher, an electronic rock genre in K-pop doom. Yes, this is everything that you want. They don't play the instruments, but the songs are just that amazing. But Dreamcatcher has some extremely powerful vocals and dance moves. And they will be a blast for you if you like this type of music. Like, I highly recommend you to listen to them. Now it's time for you to get a bit of my own taste of music. This will only be a few songs, but there are a lot of songs in this playlist that have not been mentioned in this video that will just be a blast for you, okay? So let's do this. I've Love Dive. One of the biggest releases this year, and there's a reason as to why. This song absolutely slaps, like bruh! Do you see this? Like this group only has two music videos, and they are one of the biggest groups in Korea right now. They are releasing great music that you just have to listen to. And that's why they are on this list. Their potential is insane, and I can't wait to see their future releases. P1 Harmony, Doom to Doom. Repeat, repeat, repeat. That's actually with every song from this group. But I'm just gonna be talking about this song because it is their latest release, and it is absolutely amazing to listen to. Plus, the music video is just really fun to watch. Oh, yeah. But yes, if you like this song, then you have to listen to basically every song from them because they're just fascinating to listen to. BTS Coffee. B -b 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 but BTS have bad music. No, 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 shut up. They actually have some amazing music, and I want to recommend one of my fave songs from them Coffee. This song actually shows a different side of BTS that you don't hear that much anymore. Which sucks, because they nail this type of music, and I just wish they had more of it. This song reminds me of like a marshmallow melting or something like that. It is just so relaxing to listen to. It's great. Shiny Atlantis. Oh my god, this song is just a yes! If it proposed to me, I would be saying yes to this song. Dang right I said that. Shiny releases amazing music and they will continue to do so. There's just something about this song that just lightens up your mood and makes you feel better. It's also got such a cool meaning behind it, which is talking about how their love is as deep as Atlantis and that's just wholesome as fuck. Plus the vocals of Shiny are some of the best. Holy moly, they, they got great vocals. Blackpink, Whistle. Make a whistle like a missile. I've been struggling to find out how to describe this song. It's remember, rememberable. <laughs> I'm still struggling at saying that. Fascinating? Mind boggling? I don't know what to say. It's just this song will be a great experience for you. This song is different to what you have ever heard, and it's just. I highly recommend it. I, you through the night. Now, if you love slow, relaxing songs that just put you at ease, then this song is for you. Or maybe just IU in general. IU is the nation's sweetheart and the nation's little sister. The people of South Korea gave her those titles. That is how big she is in South Korea. Her music always tops the charts because of how beautiful her voice is and it shines through in Through the Night. Now I wish I could continue to recommend more songs, but that's what my playlist is for. I have also made a music video playlist for you on YouTube, so you can watch that if you want to have a visually pleasing time with K-pop. But now it's time for me to get ready to dive into Vocaloid. I am about to be the noob, and you will be my master? But yeah, that's all for this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, then show some support by leaving a like and comment down below your favorite song from this list or what artist you want to listen to. And also share this with your friends because if you want them to get into K-pop, then yeah, I'm the guy. Swag. But yeah, other than that, <laughs> peace.